Divisibility Rule of Four. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to identify and use divisibility rules for four. Let's begin. We have here number 16 and 17. Now, which of these two numbers is divisible by four? Let's try to answer this question using bar models. Suppose this rectangle bars represent 16. If we divide this into four equal parts, each part will be 4. This means that 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now let's check this by dividing 16 by 4 using the long division method. We find that 16 divided by 4 is 4. This means that 16 is divisible by 4. Now let's try dividing the number 17 by 4. Using the bar model approach, if we divide 17 by 4, we'll have 4 groups of 4 with a remainder of 1. Now let's check this using the long division method. Therefore, 17 is not divisible by 4. Remember, a number is exactly divisible by another number if there is no remainder or any decimal value. There is also a divisibility rule that helps us determine more quickly whether a number is divisible by another number. What do you think is a divisibility rule for the number 4? Let's find out! A number is divisible by 4 if either the number formed by the last two digits are divisible by 4 or if those digits are zeros. If you meet either of these two criteria, you can say that a number is divisible by 4. Let's take number 3512 as an example. Look at its last two digits. They for the number 12. If we divide this by 4, the result is 3 with no remainder. This means that 12 is divisible by 4. Which also means that the entire number, 3512, is divisible by 4. Another quick strategy is to look at the last two digits. If the number they form is a multiple of 4, you can conclude that the entire number is divisible by 4. Let's use another as an example. 95,100. The last two digits are zeros, which means that 95,100 is divisible by 4. Let's go and have more examples. First, let's take the number 348. Look at its last two digits. If we divide it by 4, the result is 12. Since there's no remainder, it means 48 is divisible by 4, which also makes the entire number 348 divisible by 4. Let's try another one. Number 216. Since its last two digits, which are 16, are divisible by 4, we can say that 216 is also divisible by 4. Next, consider the number 114. Look at its last two digits. We have number 14. If we divide 14 by 4, the answer would be 3 remainder 2. Since there's a remainder, it means that 14 is not divisible by 4, which makes 114 also not divisible by 4. Lastly, we have 700. We can see that its last two digits are zeros. Since all numbers with zeros as the last two digits are divisible by 4, we can say that 700 is divisible by 4. Wonderful! You made it this far. Now here are the things that you learned today.